Sketchbook Challenge 30. And you know what 30 means? It means you are three-fifths of the way there. Stay with us. Hanging out with us today is the incredible Jim Toe. Jim Toe has worked for comic book companies like Marvel Comics, illustrating some of my favorite characters, including Spider-Man and Deadpool. Wow, amazing to have you with us again today. Thank you so much. So today is hands, and real quick before we dive into that, I want to share with you guys what another one of the grand prizes is, a German Raiders of the Lost Ark. And the reason I wanted to share this today is because there's lots of hands, including this one that has the headpiece to the Staff of Ra burned into the hand, and uh, we're going to talk hands today. What I'm really excited about today is this is going to be a great lesson for me and I'm actually going to take a back seat and Jim I'm going to have you take the reins. I'm curious what you do for different hands, masculine hands, feminine hands. I have so many questions so man I'm going to put you through the ringer and I know everyone at home would love to get the 411. All right. The best thing and the worst thing about hands is it's basically its own little body with a bunch of limbs and the palm but on the flip side, it's something that you can always reference while you're drawing. When I usually construct a hand from like memory, there's uh, certain chunks of the hand, especially, I always start with the palm and figure out my placement of the palm. And then from there, it's where I can figure out maybe the position of the fingers and your thumb. And then, you know, maybe a little bit of the forearm as well, just to put it into perspective. So this is usually like when I'm penciling like a comic book page, this is maybe sometimes as far as I'll take the penciled hand before, you know, jumping into like inking it. And what I like to do is essentially like the top half of the finger. There's two creases to the finger, but in cartooning. I've noticed that a lot of times yeah. they, they simplify because if you draw all the creases, it almost, it starts looking bumpy. And yeah. It just starts looking a little bit strange. So and I've make, noticed that. Make it's... a lot of people look very old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a, this one's like a pretty simple go-to shot. Like, you know, imagine like, you know, Spider-Man or something like, maybe his head's like down here, right? He's like, ah, I want to try to grab you, <laughs> save you. What's he like? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, you know what I love? I love that you brought this up here, and this goes there. See, if I was drawing this, I just would have made this round. But this this just makes the sure, palm. Yeah, it all kind of like, like pinches in yeah. at the wrist. So that's fantastic. You should do like a couple of lines. And... Oh, that's so cool. Like I said, like where I'd start with a hand, and then when I'm inking it, then like the pieces fall together a little more. Now the difference you want to know about like masculine hands and feminine hands. Like this one is like an open palm shot, but like if you were to like draw like the other side of the hand, let's say, this is like the wrist. We're gonna do something like a wrist like hanging over like a ledge or something, right? For like a feminine hand, I'd make the palm slimmer and then make the fingers um, just, you know, really smooth, like sharp angles, kind of. And then, um, I always kind of put a little more like meat at the top as well. Not just where that creases, but also just like the finger gets a little slimmer as it comes into the hand. It's just mm -hmm. a stylistic choice. And then sometimes I'll do like a, if like, let's say we have two fingers like right next to each, like butted up right next to each other. Mm -hmm. Kind of turn them into one like unit almost. Just nice. put like a, a divider line in the shape of those two fingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I find sometimes if you have fingers that are closer together and you draw the lines in between all of them, it, almost, it starts making like banana fingers a yes. little bit. For the knuckles and stuff, maybe just like an indication line, you know? Nothing too pronounced or anything. Mm -hmm. For a guy, more like roughed up hand, this is where you want to show like the miles. So like get like the wrinkles in on the, on the knuckles. This is like a close up where it's more of a detail of the hand. Yeah. It's a knuckle sandwich. Exactly. You know, there's a lot more harder edges. Like these are like, I want to like simplify and have as, mm -hmm. as little amount of edges as possible. But in here it's like, and you know what? That's actually like a thicker wrist as well coming out of this hand, so. Nice. It's beefy. Yeah. Ever since I was a kid, mm. I kind of learned the cheesy way to draw a punch. And every time I look through comic books, I see a better way to do this. But I've never taken the time to really look, but I've just... Mm. So whenever I draw someone punching from the front angle or Superman's flying right towards you, I just do this cheesy thing where I go like this. 
and it's like that is one big thumb. <laughs> it's like it's coming out towards you. Yeah. But like I know in in like newer comics, I've seen like something where like I can kind of see they're almost like or maybe they're coming back or something. And then there's like really cool. It's so much better. And every time I see it, I'm like, oh, that's a really good. That's like yeah. what I draw, but way better. So I'm curious, what what? How do you approach? Yeah, so like, like if something's coming out right towards you, what would you at do different? You. Like it's not like where it's like flat. The side of the fingers that are close to your wrist are actually like jutting out forward okay. and the bottom is coming in. So okay. you're seeing like kind of a more of a halfway point instead of like a flat on like 90 degree angle, right? Yeah. For a fist, is to kind of get the rough shape in like that and the thumb. But the thumb is like kind of below it all and also coming towards you. So okay. it's a lot of just like making sure everything is right in the directions that you want it to be. And then of course get that arm behind it. And so from here it's like this uneven knuckle where they're rounding over the top. And then usually for the pinky finger, that's when I leave kind of a little like just like slope sloping okay, down. Because it's yeah. Oh that's it. Right, because it's like twisting over. Yes. This part of the hand, like right here, this is always kind of one of those spots where it's like, you kind of ballpark it, you know? Okay. <laughs> it, it's come, it's connecting into the wrist, but a lot of times like those edges will round over. Across your fingers from your index to the pinky, they're sloping downwards too. So they, they are going in. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is try to show that. So the index finger is always gonna have the farthest like line like coming out and then for the ring finger down, or no, nice. the middle finger. Yeah. And then, so yeah, so they're rounding in and then they're cutting across like here. This is where you get the fingers in. Oh, that already looks so much better. That looks awesome. Yeah, and then you can just put a shadow in. And the thumb here, use the fingernail just to like force the perspective in so you can identify part of it as coming towards you. If you have a group of like the X-Men or the Avengers that are, maybe there's a bunch of people in a shot, it's a wide angle. So how would you approach drawing hands that are way smaller? Do you take the time to build them the same? Like with anything in like drawing comics, the farther you get away from something, the less information you're gonna see in the drawing. So like, let's take like this hand and make it like super small or something, right? Like I'm gonna start like blending everything together, right? Okay. And then maybe put some of the indications of the cuts in or something like that, right? Okay. And then somebody like waving hello or something. It might end up being something like where the hands are just one unit, like a mitten and like that. For me, it's just like removing as much information as possible. And sometimes, I mean, you can get to a point, like a hand down by somebody's side, ends up kind of looking like a, a flipper, you know, or something yeah. like that. But I guess one last hand or something, my secret weapon Ooh. when I'm drawing the pages, is you when you have the hands coming towards you, that's fun and everything, mm -hmm. but you need your shortcuts every now and then when you gotta get through the workload and stuff. For me, it's the reverse when a hand's going away from you. So let's just draw a forearm here, goofy forearm muscles, but let's just put in like, I don't know, the guy's wearing like a striped shirt or something. So this is like, think if somebody's like going like that, like, yeah, oh, like something, right? This one's always the, the fun, like shortcut one. <laughs> it's really all you have to do is you kind of draw the palm a bit coming out, right? Like, mm -hmm. and then you put in like a finger, maybe two if you want, maybe three. Then you just have to draw the Thumb really quick. That's awesome. This is one of those like quick hands. Yeah. Yeah. Like balance, you know. Whoa. Hold yeah. it now. <laughs> Let's not get too crazy. Yeah. I love it. If I wanted to have it like that, but like the, basically the reverse of that Spider-Man hand we started with, that you you just flip the fingers like going out oh, instead yeah. of in, you know. Hmm. So that's so cool. So now you need to answer a question. I had a previous video on hands. And the question was, maybe you could be an authority on this. If Spider-Man goes to an Avenged Sevenfold concert, is he constantly shooting webs and I, like pulling down trusses and stuff? If he's not responsible and brings his web shooters with him, it's gonna be a mess. Jim, that was amazing. I learned a lot about drawing hands and some really great pearls of wisdom. That was awesome. 
Thanks for having me. Today's hashtag is SBC Hands. Obviously, you want to fill a page, do some studies, look up some of Jim's awesome work. You can see some more of the professional work that he's done. Check out some of his cool hands. The great thing about drawing hands is regardless of whether you're left-handed like Jim or right-handed like me, you have another hand that you can look at that you can use for reference and draw it and see how it works. All right, you want to like this video, you want to leave a comment, subscribe, notification bell, share because you care, and we'll be back at it again. The next video is Monster, so come back for that.